Hi, I'm Paul and I'm going to talk to you about Duquesne's clock and server system which is great for schools. So as you can see the clock is currently off but when I plug it in it will boot up. Now I plugged it in and the time is showing and the power light is on. Now the clock can appear quickly because the server tells the clock what time it is. Now, use a remote to turn the TV on like this. Here's a common remote used for that. Click power and point at the clock. Did you see the power light go off? Anytime a button is pushed on the remote, the power light turns off for a second. I'll push it again watch. Now I will turn the TV on with the power button. Now when it turns on, the clock turns off for a few seconds. This happens because the clock sends a message to the server to turn the TV on. Now when you turn it on, it will go to a default channel and the volume will be turned up to a default setting. If you try to turn the TV on with the buttons on it, it won't work. This is kind of cool because the clock disables them from working. If a clock is unplugged, the buttons will work or if the server has been taken away or unplugged, the buttons will also work there too. Now if the server has a problem, the clock will do this. Watch it now. Now the clock will do this and alerts that the server needs to be fixed. The remote should still work to control the TV, if not the server has been unplugged. If you push any button on the remote, CF will appear in the ready and message lights will blink again. Eventually the clock will go back to what it says right now. If there is a master switch to turn all the TVs to a channel, the TVs with this on the clock status display won't do anything. The server still has an error, needs to be fixed. If there is a menu that shows all the channels you can go to, the menu won't show it. It will say waiting for initialization. The clock won't let you change channels either. If the server can't be fixed for a while or other reason and you need to watch a channel, unplug the clock and leave it unplugged and wait 30 seconds for the buttons to work. This will allow the buttons to work and you can change channels. The remote won't work because the clock is unplugged. If the server has been fixed the clock will do this. The server is fixed so everything returns to normal. If there are DVD and VCR players hooked up to the server to be watched, if you go to the channel, the ready light will turn on. I will turn it off now. If the TV is unplugged or has no power, the clock will do this. The clock does that to alert you that the server can't turn the TV on or there was a failure. If any button is pushed the clock does the same thing alerting you there was an error when it tried to do the command. Restoring power will allow the buttons to work for a few seconds until this happens. Or this. Remember this, anytime a command is requested, the clock sends a message to the server to do it. Lastly I'll tell you about the local. If the local button is pressed a menu of options will appear below. Change it to the one you want then wait for it to appear the clock will do this. LOC stands for local. That's it, thanks for watching. If you have any questions comment them below in the comment and I will get back to you soon.